Hey guys, it's Dan. I wanted to share with you a bit of a story about how I sold my window cleaning business just so I could start a new one. So I have an exterior cleaning business and when I very, very first started, I started off with window cleaning and basically built a business that I grew to hate. Uh, the recurring nature of seeing all the same customers over and over again and basically feeling like I was trapped in this basically relationship with my customers and having to go back to the same customers, the same addresses over and over and over again. And I basically created a business that I hated. And um, there's a couple of things that I've learned since selling that uh, work. I haven't sold the business overall, but I've sold that regular window cleaning work. So basically I could pursue higher income stuff. So I want to share this because if you're currently window cleaning or you're looking to get into the pressure washing business, I maybe share some of my personal experiences so you can um, give you some other perspectives to help you make some decisions about your business and maybe what you wanted to do. So there's an interesting guy online called James Sinclair, I believe it is. He's like a kind of a entrepreneur influencer, I would say. In some ways, it's just about business. It's not about um, anything out. Oh, it, is it about developing yourself? I'm not sure, but it's about ideas for your business, I would say. So he's like a business influencer. And the bit that sticks in my mind for him, from him, is start with the end in mind. So figure out what it is that you actually want to desire. Now, when I started my business, I didn't actually have the end, start with the end in mind. I thought I did, but I didn't. Didn't really have a plan. I didn't have any skills, I didn't have any knowledge, and I just thought all I need now is revenue. I need customers. Maybe that is what I needed at that period of time. I just did stuff and that resulted in customers. So knocking doors, all this type of stuff. But what I've chosen to do differently this time is actually start with the end in mind. So uh, just to give you an idea of like maybe how to come to that decision. I, as it happened, um, met a successful exterior cleaning business and when I met that exterior cleaning business owner, who's in our industry, I saw what a successful business looked like. And from seeing that and hearing that pers his perspectives on what he wanted from a business, it allowed me to understand what I actually wanted from mine. So there was a few lessons there. There was probably start with the end in mind, and also getting around people that have better ideas, have um, something that you want. And that really helped me get clarity on the confusion of what the business would look like at the end, because now I've seen it. So if I was starting and I felt uh, confused by anything, I would try and get some clarity by trying to think what the end what the end looks like that can be quite difficult but actually finding people that have what you want and listening to them so one of the things that i liked about the window cleaning was the recurring income that you get so you generally have a customer base that you will service our plan is every 6 to 12 weeks and that becomes a regular cash flow that um, feeds the business basically. And it also becomes a database of customers that you can remarket to because you've built trust in uh, with. And after not having that 
database of customers and uh, that regular interaction with those customers, it made it quite difficult to um, generate lots of business for the higher ticket side of the business, which is exterior cleaning, roof cleaning, pressure washing, those types of jobs. So you do, I did come to realize that that customer base is very, very valuable because if you're cleaning the windows and they get to know that you're the guy that does all that exterior cleaning work, it is um, you they'll generally think of first if you stay top of mind with marketing, which is quite easy. So I made the decision to sell my window cleaning round because I did have a guy working for me. Um, but the main issue was when the guy had left, because he, he moved on, he moved out of the Midlands, I was then faced with operational challenges. These might seem really low level challenges to people that are further ahead. But when you're very, very first starting, I was in year four or five of business. Um, these are can be quite challenging when you, you feel like you're on your own, was hiring someone new that I could push into a window cleaning band that could go ahead and continue that work. But probably the second main thing was not having a structure and a system to the window cleaning. So for example, not every customer was on a direct debit service, which would automate the payments. Uh, all of the, I didn't have a way of um, generating new customers outside of what was organic. So I didn't have a flyer strategy. I didn't have a paid, basically paid marketing channel strategy. And the way that it was set up meant that the more window cleaning customers I had, the more headache it would give me. And that was a big problem. And that was one of the main factors that contributed me to selling my window cleaning route. After doing so, realizing how valuable that recurring income is and that customer base is. So the main lesson that I learned was that window cleaning or having an element of recurring revenue in my business is like gold. And the lesson that I've learned is systems. So this time round in building out the window cleaning route, I need to have a system on a few levels. So I'm just thinking off the top of my head now. So those are generating the inquiries, not relying on organic methods. So a flyer strategy and a paid strategy. Facebook is going to be something I'm going to trial, but at the moment, Flyers is working. So a paid strategy for getting customers, a systemized uh, way to price the jobs. We've now got like a, a, we'll have an online booking form so people can get all their quotes online, which reduces the burden of pricing our customers. Uh, you know, you imagine you add 100 customers in a month to your window cleaning route, or even 50, if you're still on the tools, that can be really, really uh, sucking on your time, and it can be quite challenging. Uh, the second, the, th the next part of the system that I had to learn was, uh, well, I actually have my girlfriend helping me with my business now, like doing some of the admin and things, and it was having processes in place so that I can generate the work and work on generating the work and then have somebody in place to be able to manage those inquiries. And if I was going to put it into a too long, didn't read, it's actually mapping out the customer process or the customer journey that you're going to push them customers through. Sometimes getting inquiries, if you're already busy, is like a, is problematic. That was what led me to selling my window cleaning. Getting more customers equaled more problems for me. So subconsciously, I didn't want to push that forward. This time round, you have a whole process and a whole system that you understand, or I now understand that my customers have to go through. 
and understanding all of these different elements and the customer journey, the value of having recurring income, um, building window cleaning a bad way, uh, selling that window cleaning, I now know what is truly valuable. And um, it's through those lessons that I've learned that um, the value of window cleaning. So what does this mean for you? So I'm hoping that maybe you get some value from just understanding my story. So you, maybe you can skip a couple of lessons for yourself. Now, if I was gonna build a window cleaning route and I didn't even have a business, like I had zero, zero business right now, I would still actually start with pressure washing, not window cleaning. I think that window cleaning is, it's quite an easy skill to learn, the actual method of cleaning. Well, actually it depends on, it depends on you, I guess, or uh, your ability and your, what you're like. Window cleaning, the skill of doing the job is very easy in my opinion, and it's very easy to train people. That has its pros and cons. If you like a little bit more details and a little bit more things to learn, the actual doing part of the job, pressure washing and soft washing, I would say is more complicated. So it might be more fulfilling to you uh, when you're growing the business from zero. Window cleaning, the management and the systems part of the job is gonna, requ gonna require more of a management skill, in my opinion. You're gonna need to be a little bit more um, organized if you wanna grow a window cleaning business because you're gonna have to have a system and a process in place to do um, the same job over and over again, the same time, every time, keep your customers happy and manage a system it almost seems like window cleaning is more like management and the pressure washing is a little bit more like one hit. Now that's not to say that there isn't recurring income that can be earned through pressure washing. Just from my experience, the window cleaning is the most obvious one. For pressure washing, there's bin store cleaning and stuff like that. Uh, commercial cleaning, other ways of generating recurring income. But I'm just speaking on my experience here. Just to interrupt the video, the perspective that I'm talking from here is from a residential pressure washing, window cleaning, exterior cleaning business. So knowing that, back to the video. In terms of like business growth in this exterior cleaning um, area, I would say I've got, I'm at five years into business and in terms of my knowledge or skills, I would say I was about a five out of 10. Uh, right now, could be a four out of 10. But with that, I think that if you're a zero out of 10 or a one out of 10, you've got no business experience, I might be able to help you. So if you're looking to get into the business and you're thinking, mm, maybe I'd like to, before I commit and plunge into starting a pressure washing or a window cleaning business or anything like that, I'd love to be able to just pick the brains of someone who's already been in it. If you're interested in something like that and you'd like to schedule a call with me, uh, follow me on Instagram, 